We found that uh, Maxwell's equation admit wave solutions or electromagnetic waves can exist uh, in vacuum or in any medium. So the next question is what types of waves are these electromagnetic waves? They are whether they are transverse or longitudinal waves. So in order to prove this, uh, we consider a monochromatic plane waves in vacuum. We already designed, uh, defined a monochromatic plane wave. Uh, a plane wave means uh, uh, the field is constant in the plane perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Mm -hmm. So assume the wave is propagating in a Z direction, then plane wave means uh, the field is independent of the perpendicular components X and Y. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the XY plane, electric fields are constants. Mm -hmm. So it has only dependence for uh, Z component, Z direction, uh, direction of propagation and time. So we are assuming here we are assuming a plane wave traveling in positive z direction. So that means the field has no x and y dependence. Now we have Maxwell's equations in vacuum for electric field del square Laplacian E is equal to 1 by c square dou square E by dou t square. So 1 by c square means mu zero epsilon zero. Uh, c is equal to 1 by square root of mu zero epsilon zero. Okay. So this is a vector equation. Mm -hmm. So the vector, a vector means three scalar components. It's a linear combination of three scalar components. It's x component, y component, and z component. So a vector equation means three scalar equations corresponding to x component, y component, and z components. So this equation means uh, all the components independently satisfy this wave equation. So del square E x is equal to one by C square dou square E x by dou T square, similarly for y component and Z component. So a vector equation means three scalar equation corresponding to the X, Y and Z components of that vector. Now again, this Laplacian operator in Cartesian coordinate system is dou square, uh, that function E X by dou X square plus dou square by dou Y square plus dou square by dou Z square. Laplacian in Cartesian coordinate system is dou square by dou X square, dou square by dou Y square, dou square by dou Z square. So these three equations can be expanded uh, if you expand this uh, Laplace equation. So these are the equations for, wave equations for three uh, components of electric field. Now, we have considered a plane wave that is propagating in Z direction. So a plane wave propagating in Z direction means E is a function of Z only. In space component Z and time, of course, time component T. It is independent of, independent of X and Y components. So that, we can take dou E x by dou x. Mm. If this component, if x component, if the field or its x, y, z component are functions of z and time only, if you take the derivative with respect to x, it will be zero. Derivative with respect to y is also zero. So similarly for the y component, derivative with respect to x equal to zero, derivative with respect to y is equal to zero. So for plane waves, we have, uh, we have these uh, restrictions given by equation 2. Now, here in equation 1, if you, uh, if you put equation 2 in equation 1, so these components, what are the components? The first component, second component are 0, here also do EY by do X, this is 0, this is also 0. So similarly for Z component also, okay. So this equation 1 become dou square E x by dou Z square. Mm. E first, sec, first and second terms are equation less zero on, since uh, E electric field are functions of Z only. So this equation one reduced to equation three. Dou square E x by dou Z square equal to one by C square dou square by dou square E x by dou T square. Now in free space, we have Gauss's law. In free space, Gauss's law is del dou D is equal to zero. Del dot D is equal to rho by epsilon zero in free space. Uh, free space means free from charge, so rho is equal to zero, so del dot D is equal to zero. If you expand this, so del dot T is dou E X by dou X plus dou E Y by dou Y plus uh, dou E Z by dou Z, that is equal to zero. Now again, we know uh, since uh, we, we are considering a plane wave propagating in Z direction, derivative with respect to X and derivative with respect to Y are zero, so that imply derivative with respect to Z is also zero. Dou Z by dou Z is equal to zero. That is equation number four. Now, if you substitute equation four in equation number three C, or the third equation in equation number C, so here, hmm, 
uh, so sorry, this is t square. Hmm. Uh, so we have equation number four, dou ez by dou z is equal to zero. So left hand side, we have dou square ez by dou z. First derivative is zero, so, because, uh, so second derivative is also zero. So left hand side is zero. So left hand side is zero means one by c square can, can be taken to zero, uh, this side, that is also zero. So we can say dou square ez by dou t square is equal to zero, okay? In this equation, in this particular equation, equation 3c, if you substitute dou ez by dou z, that is equation number 4, so left hand side becomes 0, that means right hand side is also 0. And that is what equation 5 means. So this restriction came from the Gauss's law itself or the first Maxwell's equations itself. Okay, so we have d square ez by dot t, dot t square is equal to 0. So what is the meaning of this equation 5? Or what are the possibility to make the second derivative of this uh, z component of electric field, or electric field 0? So we have three possibilities to satisfy equation 5. The first one, ez itself is 0. The ez component itself is 0. Mm -hmm. So we can get, uh, we can satisfy this equation. Second option, ez is time independent. ez is constant with respect to time. If ez is constant, if you take the derivative, that is equal to 0. Or third option, the first derivative is constant. Here we have second derivative, we are taking the second derivative. If first derivative is constant, second derivative will become 0. So that is another possibility. So we have all the three possibilities. But if you consider uh, the possibility 2 and 5, uh, for example, equation, I mean, possibility 2, ez is time independent, ez is constant. So that cannot constitute a uh, wave equation. Mm? Uh, we, have, uh, we have already seen that uh, electric field satisfy wave equation or is its CZ component satisfy wave equation. Wave equation means uh, it must have time dependence also. Uh, as time uh, as time advances, the field or the varying quantity should change. Mm? That, is, that is how uh, we define a wave. Something is changing with respect to space and time. That is the wave. So if Z is equal to time independent, EZ is time independent means it is not varying something is not varying, cannot constitute a wave. So this, we can rule out this possibility. This is not possible uh, for a wave. Uh, EZ cannot be time independent. And second, dou EZ by dou T is equal to constant. So what is it means? Its slope is positive. I mean, its slope is constant. Slope is constant means either EZ, suppose it is constant is positive. EZ, is, dou, EZ by dou T is equal to a positive means EZ is increasing. Hmm? Or it represents a uh, curve like this. Uh, electric field is increasing monotonically. Uh, if it is negative, that means uh, uh, it is neg it is decreasing constantly. So that can th that also cannot constitute a wave. A wave means that is varying uh, about a mean position. It is decreasing and increasing, decreasing and increasing. Uh, something uh, parameter that is a uh, quantity that is that is uh, decreasing and increasing. That 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 only constitute an electric uh, a wave. So dou ez by dou t, that is a constant means it is always increasing or always decreasing. So, so that uh, that cannot constitute a wave. So we can rule out the possibility uh, three also. So the only option is ez is equal to zero. So so th th this means also where this restriction comes from, all the restrictions come from del dou t is equal to zero. What is del dou t is equal to zero? Gauss's law or Maxwell's equation. So Maxwell's equation restricts uh, the Z component uh, of electric field to vanish, or, or, or uh, Z component is zero. So here we assume that the wave is propagating in Z direction. If, some, if the wave is propagating in Z direction, has no Z component, means that wave is not, not, not longitudinal, but it is transverse, okay? So that is the conclusion. So, no component in the direction of propagation. Mm -hmm. Of course, the electric field should vary. That, that, that is how uh, that satisfies this wave equation. But it is varying. It cannot, it cannot vary in the z, z direction. It cannot be in z direction. That is what this condition shows. So, there is no component in the direction of propagation. So, it is not, no, no longer a, tri, long, no longer a uh, longitudinal wave. But uh, we can conclude that it is an transverse wave. Okay, so longitudinal wave means the varying parameter is varying in the direction of propagation. Here we are taking is a direction as the direction of propagation. If the wave is propagating in this direction, the field cannot vary in this direction along is a direction. So uh, if that is possible, we can say electromagnetic wave is uh, longitudinal wave. 
but here we, we have shown that EZ is equal to zero. That means there is no longitudinal component, only transverse components. The wave is propagating in Z direction, so electric field can vary in XY plane, the perpendicular plane to Z directions. That, that means electro, ele electric field satisfy a transverse wave equation. Similarly, in the same way, we have uh, del dot B is equal to zero. Hmm? The same wave equation, all the, all the steps can be uh, done for the magnetic field also. And instead of this Gauss's law, we have del dot B is equal to zero. So we can also show that uh, Bz is also zero. Or we can conclude uh, electromagnetic wave is transverse in nature. Uh, electromagnetic wave have no component. Uh, in the direction of propagation, but electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Mm -hmm. If this Z is the direction of propagation, electric field can be in this direction and magnetic field can be uh, in perpendicular direction. Next, we want to see what is the orientation, what is the relation of orientation of electric and magnetic fields. Mm -hmm. So here we proved that electromagnetic waves are transverse, electric and magnetic field vibrations are perpendicular to Z cap direction. Now we want to fix the direction of electric and magnetic fields also. What is the uh, angle between electric and magnetic fields in XY plane? Mm -hmm. So this is restricted in, if it is propagating in Z direction, it is restricted. Electric and magnetic fields are restricted in uh, XY plane. In XY plane, what are the possible orientation they can take? So in the next session, we will derive this also from nothing else from the Maxwell's equation itself. Maxwell's equation contain everything in this. We want to just deduce uh, the points that we want to uh, study. So that is our next session.